Hello innovators. Welcome back to I learn place. Today in this video we will be discussing how to control the direction of a motor using a DPDT switch. This is the second video of Takshak Battlefield Level 2. If you haven't watched the first video yet, we highly recommend that you do so because we have explained the working of a motor, battery and switch in that video. So, let's get started. In this video, we will be learning about the DPDT switch. The full name of DPDT is double pole double throw. The first video, we explained the SPDT switch and the DPDT switch is nothing but a combination of two SPST switches. An SPST switch has 3 terminals but a DPDT switch has 6 terminals. Basically, 3 terminals are for pole 1 and another 3 terminals are for pole 2. But there is no connection between pole 1 and pole 2. But how the DPDT switch can control the direction of the motor? To control the direction of the motor, we have to reverse the polarity of the battery connection to the motor. And we can't do this using SPST or SPDT switch. but dpdt switch can do this work so we are using the dpdt switch in the dpdt switch the middle terminal of the switch is common and we will connect the remaining four terminals in cross connection like this we will connect a battery with these two terminals one terminal is connected to the positive pin of the battery and another one is connected to the negative pin of the battery in the dpdt switch there are three positions middle up and down In the middle position there is no connection established between any terminal when switch is pressed on the upside a connection is established between the common and upper side of terminals and when it is pressed downside a connection is established between the common and the downside of the terminal but there is no connection between both poles so suppose the motor is connected to the middle pins of the DPDT switch and if we are pressing the switch on the upper side This wire of the motor will connect to positive and this wire will connect to negative because a connectivity will establish between the battery and motor and the motor starts rotating suppose this direction is clockwise and when we press the switch in a downward direction the polarity will reverse now this wire will connect to the negative terminal and this wire will connect to the positive terminal and the motor starts rotating in a counterclockwise direction this is the basic working of the dpdt switch and by using the switch we can simply control the direction of motors so guys how's this video please comment down and i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching this video